As David Gauntlet writes in Making is Connecting, creative effort is the process of challenging embedded narratives of belief in order to think the world into being for oneself. As such, creativity in the forms of zines and pamphlets is not only a creative outlet for marginalized communities, but it's also a form of identity making. Gauntlet does remark that though we enjoy the process of creativity, we inevitably engage in creative endeavors because of their capacity for self-transformation. For gay and POC communities, this self-transformation can take place with the creation of every new article. Similarly, zines, as Gauntlet mentions, and other forms of self-representation simultaneously serve as political statements. There is a resistance to capitalism if an artist makes their artwork free, as well as a resistance to enforce gender norms. My best friend Carrie created this scene, and it pulls on her identity as first bisexual, then as a lesbian, and now as a dyke, and her identity is now more fluid and shifting based on her relationship with herself and others. As she writes on one page of her zine layout, my gender became whole. I don't mean whole in the monolithic sense of completeness and perfection, but whole in the sense of elation, infinitude, vastness, and undulation. Desire is a part of my gender now, and like my gender, it is in flux. Like the example above shows, zines are a personal look at gay and POC communities. As Gauntlet writes, sometimes these crafts can be messy, but they have personality. They have stories to tell. And like other art forms included in Gauntlet's book, zines will encourage you to go out and create your own. And so I did. I created my own zine based on the frustration I feel towards Clemson University and to a large extent towards all universities. LGBTQ and POC persons create work like zines that can be thought of as messily produced, but this production is entirely intentional. Author Legacy Russell suggests in her book, Glitch Feminism, a new form of feminism, that of the glitch, the imperfect, the undecipherable. The glitch is a way for diverse communities to find themselves and create themselves, much like avatars in online games or in social media apps like Snapchat. But when these avatars, these representations, are presented as glitches, it is a way for each user to rethink the way they are presented and read online and in social media apps. By choosing to glitch the boxes offered, female, male, choose not to say, or other, each user makes a mass corrective edit to the white, straight, male, abled body that is immediately placed upon anyone who uses the internet. As Russell writes, the skin of the digital transforms and is transformative, and this transformation isn't always readable. The hope is that because these identities are so difficult for others to decipher, it will be as equally difficult for data to decode. By making mass corrective edits to the internet in various art forms, LGBTQ and POC persons are able to challenge embedded narratives of belief and, in the process, become and or re-transform themselves.